Hey you guys, it's Lucinda Carroll and welcome to Crafting with Lucinda. So I'm getting ready to start working on some Easter projects and I'm getting ready to um, start working on my plates for Easter and I am so excited about this project and so excited to share this with you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right on into this. So I purchased um, some clear Dollar Tree plates, as you can see, clear. And I went to Hobby Lobby in the cloth section and I purchased this cute, oh gosh, I'm so in love with this cloth, this cute Easter um, design. And um, I'm absolutely in love with it because these are the colors that I'm going with this year for Easter. So what I'm gonna do is, um, on the back of this clay, on the back of the cloth, because I'm going to turn it upside down, um, I'm going to lay my plate. Now, I, I, I want to make sure that I'm clear on this. These plates are not for eating in. Um, they're, they're for decorations only. So, I just want to make sure I clarify that because I'm using Mod Podge on this plate. So, me and my family will not be eating out of this. They're just going to be for looks only. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this plate on the back side of the cloth and I'm going to trace it out. I'm going to trace it out with a pen. That way um, I can actually see the lines. And I've already traced this one out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to cut. And, and what I like to do is I, I like to try to cut not actually on the line that I um, trace, but I want to cut a little bit past that line um, so that I can have some of this material hanging off. And you'll you'll understand once I show you how it ends up. But I'm just cutting again outside the circle, and and I'm doing so so that when I lay my cloth down on my uh, plate that I've got some material that's hanging over and if I need to cut the edges of the cloth off once I've got it on my plate I would rather do that than end up with it being too short and I actually had that happen with the first plate that I made and I was not happy it wasn't too much it wasn't too short on the edges but it just made me think that I better cut a little bit extra off. So I'm almost finished going around this one. And so I'm going to snip that off. And I'm just going to move this out of the way so that I can go back to working. Okay, so as you can tell, I've got it cut in a nice cute circle. Again, this is so cute, you guys. Um, I'm going to actually be using the back side of this clear plate. I've already pulled the sticker off. Um, so as you know, there are stickers that come on here um, on these plates. So I've already peeled that off. And what I want to do, you know, this is the original side. So I want to turn this over um, when I lay it on my plate. So I'm going to be using Mod Podge to do this. And I'm going to be using a spongy brush. And really the only things you need for this project is Mod Podge, a paintbrush, scissors, and a pen to um, trace out your plate with. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to spread it on my plate. Um, and I'm not going to be shy with my Mod Podge because you want the paper, you want your cloth to seal on your glass. Uh, I used to be afraid to use Mod Podge. Um, I was never a fan of Mod Podge. And I, I, I say that I weren't a fan because, and I never used it. So I just really don't know what I was missing at the time I was saying all that because I'm telling you, I'm I've become a huge fan of Mod Podge. So, I'm just making sure that I'm spreading this evenly around the plate. I've got some little strings wanting to pop up. But, 
and make sure you get around the edges too of your plate that way it secures on the edges when you lay your plate down I mean when you lay your cloth down sorry so as you can see I've got my plate fully covered on the back side and once I've got this spread real good I'm going to lay my plate down I'm going to move my Mod Podge where I won't knock it over and then I'm going to kind of just try to focus in and make sure that when I lay it that I'm pretty much centered on my plate and as I'm laying it down I'm just going to kind of let it fall and I'm going to pat it down or not pat it down I'm just going to actually rub it down um, I found with padding I might end up leaving some bubbles and that's what you want to make sure that you have um, cleared out is the bubbles um, this laid absolutely perfect and I am so excited and this is my sec this is my actually my third plate that I've done so I'm excited that it's laid down really good and and what I mean by bubbles um the first one that I did um I let some air bubbles get in it and it started sealing on me really fast um so I just kind of had a little mess and I had to work with it. I actually had to put some Mod Podge on the top of the plate, just hoping that it'll uh, soak through and, and seal. So we'll see how that works out. I've got it drying now. But this laid out absolutely perfect. Um, so I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna show you how cute that is. Now, as you can see, again, I have these edges and that's fine, perfectly fine. I would rather have the edges um, up a little bit like that, hanging out, and then I can go back in and um, cut those down and then just add some Mod Podge to kind of seal it. But so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight. I'm not gonna actually go in and try to snip those edges tonight because I'm, I'm afraid that I might mess it up. But I absolutely love how cute this is. I want to share with you also that um, the plates, again, I purchased from Dollar Tree. And they were $6 uh, for six because my table setting is six. And so that was $6. And then my cloth that I purchased from Hobby Lobby was $5. So all together for this project, I have a little less than um, $12 and that is for six plates and you guys I'm telling you if you go anywhere else looking for uh, designer plates for Easter you're gonna pay at least eight dollars for a design because I went looking and I found some plain plates that didn't have any design in them and they were five dollars so I thought to myself, if, the, if there's any plates out there that has designs in them, you're probably going to pay $10 or maybe a little less than. But um, when you add, add this up, um, a little less than $12 for six plates, that's, that's pretty good. And I'm super excited. I hope that this project inspired you. Um, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. And hey, listen, subscribe to my channel. I don't get to upload um, as much as I would like to on YouTube. I do work a full-time job, but I do love crafting and I love sharing my stuff with you guys. So subscribe to my um, channel and click the notification bell. And when I do upload something, you'll get a notification um, indicating that I have uploaded something. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful evening. Thank you.